G'day guys, John from JBR here and welcome to this week's Rotor Engine Tech video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of these, which is a diamond coated Apex Seal Groove File. Uh, these things have been around for quite a while now, so some of you guys have probably seen them before and possibly even used them. This one here, it's one of the very first ones that Extreme Rotary's made. I've had it for 10 years. Um, it's still going strong and works like a champion. It's one of the first design ones. It's got the diamond coating only on one side, not both sides. Which leads us to this one here. This is the latest design one, and it has two files built into the one tool. You've got three mil on this side, and then two mil on this side that will allow the file to work with the early style 12A or 13B rotors with the 3 mil apex seals or the later model turbo stuff with the 2 mil grooves. Now the purpose of this tool is to get the slots or the grooves for the apex seal in the rotor perfectly straight, perfectly true, free from any damage or dings so the apex seal can move freely up and down in the slot and doesn't have any tight spots or bind up in the groove. I know that sounds easy and simple, but it's not always that easy to achieve without one of these. When you do start using one of these, you'll notice that the accuracy of the machining on the rotors isn't quite as good as what it could be. And when you look at the small details, there is a little bit of dodgy shit that goes on. This tool will help you eliminate that dodgy shit and will go a long way to helping you build a better engine that's got better comp. So when it starts, it will have plenty of comp. The top end ceiling or high RPM ceiling will be a lot better and it will help you build a much better engine. When I'm building an engine, I'll use the file at a couple of different stages when I'm assembling the rotors. First stage, when I pull the rotors out of the parts washer and everything's clean and I sit them on the bench, I'll run this through the grooves to make sure that there isn't any dings or damage to the grooves and there's no carbon that I've missed when I've cleaned them. Now, it is quite common for rotors to get dinged and damaged and usually it's always the tips of the rotor or the apex or grooves that are the first ones to cop it. So, if you do have your rotors, that have marks in the grooves such as this one you can run the file through here and it will square the groove back up again and take out all the dings so the apex seal can move up and down in the groove nice and freely once i've gone around and done all six on a 13b i'll then go ahead and i'll assemble the rotors and put the corner seals in side seals in like this one right here. And once that's done, I'll go back with the file and I'll run the file back through with the corner seals in place. And that's when you'll start to discover some of that dodgy shit that, that I spoke about earlier in the video. When you run the file back through the apex seal groove, once you've got the corner seals in place, you'll soon discover that not all rotors have been machined perfectly. It's actually quite common for the apex seal groove and the corner seal groove to be not perfectly aligned. Mazda do do a pretty good job of machining these rotors, but in a lot of instances it could be a lot better. And here's something for you to think about. When you're assembling a rotor and clearancing the side seals, it's kind of accepted that all the side seals need to be cut to a different length and individually fitted to each groove. The reason for that is that each groove is a different length. Now, if Mazda could manage to get the machining on the rotors perfect, each groove would be in the same spot, each groove would be the same length, and they could make side seals that were all a perfect length out of the packet, and you'd just drop them in, but that's not the case. And it's also not the case for the relationship between the apex seal and the corner seal and the side seal. There is a lot of variance there and you will start to notice that when you use the file. So just to show you how I do it, once the rotor's assembled, we've got the corner seals in place, side seals are all done, 
the rotor is assembled just how it's going to go straight into the engine. You grab the file and all you want to do is drop it in there like that, hold on to the corner seal so they don't slide out and just do a couple of passes backwards and forwards through with the file. You don't need to get carried away and swing off it. You're not trying to make the groove any bigger. All you're wanting to do is make sure the groove is nice and smooth and the file passes easily through and all the seals and the grooves are perfectly aligned. If there are any discrepancies in the alignment of the corner seal groove to the apex seal groove or the slot in the corner seal isn't perfectly in the middle, which is another issue in itself, this process will eliminate all of those things. If there is something that's out of whack, you will feel it as you drag the file through. Probably the time I notice it the most is if I ever get a set of rotors in that have been machined out to 3mm from 2mm. These are usually the worst. The best machinists in the world hate doing that job because it's such a prick to get right. If you ever put a rotor on a machine and measure it accurately, you'll notice that not all apex seal grooves are perfectly 120 degrees apart. So it's not a matter of lining up the first one and machining it and then rotating 120 degrees. You have to clock up each groove individually and that's always not an easy job to do. And judging by some of the rotors that I've had come through my hands over the years, there's quite a lot of guys that are machining rotors that didn't know that. Your apex oil groove clearance is really, really important and even a hundredth of a millimetre can make a huge difference to how the engine seals, particularly at high RPM. If you pay attention to that and concentrate on getting it spot on, it will make a huge difference and you'll notice it straight away when you start building engines and you get this on point, it will make a huge difference to um, how your engine runs. If you want one of these Apex Seal Groove files, shoot me a message on Facebook. At the time of doing the video, I do have plenty of them sitting on the shelf. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so and click on the bell so you get notifications when I make another video. I do have a few more rotary tool and rotary tech videos coming up in the near future, so make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.